Wednesdays, team of the season content. We have quite a bit to get through, so we'll get through it as quick as we can and all that good stuff. So we've got Chuck Queasy upon us, 90 rated card with 97 pace, 86 shot, 83 pass, 94 dribble, and 47 defending, and 70 physical, 4 star skills, 5 star weak foot, high or low. Right mid, right wing, decent enough face stats, uh, 97 dribble, like his dribble should feel really, really nice. Um, the only issues with his actual dribbling is his composure of 85 and reaction of 86. Um, I wouldn't take penalty with him, but uh, even then his passing leaves a little, few, a little to be desired. Like pace and dribbling is what's good on him, it's his shooting and passing that needs to work. Player traits is the flair and speed, um, speed dribbler. He is an 85 rated squad, one La Liga, one team of the week, or team of the season player in that. Uh, feels not too bad about 60k. As we said, if you've got um, Hanchko or um, Joe Linton, it saves a bit of money. I, had to, I was like, who, who would? Obviously, Daily Logan there again. Um, 85 times 5 on reset. And we have Community Tots upgrade, which is really, really well priced. 84 rated squad with one team of the season or one team of the season moments to make that happen. So, fair play on like that, if I'm honest, it definitely looks worth it. Well, it is worth doing, like, there's no denying. Um, obviously, just a case of do you end up with like a Turam or a Bernardo Silva or do you end up with a Carter Vickers? That's <laughs> what's going to be like. Um, either VZ finals reset for 24 hours if you didn't do it the first time and we have an 81 plus team of the week upgrade which is an 81 rated squad so expect your 80s and 81s for the next um, 6 weeks or so to have a bit of value um, well not necessarily just value but these 81 plus team weeks I'll maybe try and sort a graphic for it I'll try but I wouldn't guarantee that I can make it happen so um, because there's that many and if I'm brutally honest when there's that many 81 plus you tend to want to focus on who's like a walkout as it were um, like, yes there's not as many team of the weeks as usual but there is a lot to delve in so it's handy for those that would like to try and get someone that they've not got already but there's more rubbish than good then obviously for Silver Stars, which is the other player, we've got 1250 XP for this, which is fair play, you don't usually get as much as that. But it's win three matches, obviously get she This time they've stuck with the two player packs, so fair play. And then Van Ewick looks a not bad card. Can he play centre back? Sadly not, even though he's got 95 pace. But 70 shot, um, 77 pass, 83 double one in defending, and 82 physical right back, right wing back. At least um, Eredivisie is starting to shape up like a full um, 11 now, albeit it's just taken a little bit longer um, for them to kind of get near enough a full um, back line as it were, um, joys of how they've set it out as it were. Just need a left back obviously just to give you um, both full backs, but long throwing an early cross is what he has. Also not a bad card, can, like, if you give him a shot it's going to have some venom in it. Just case of not necessarily going to be on target but in terms of tonight's content I'm quite happy with it and um, I'll get Van Ewick done pretty sharpish as I usually do with all the silver stars but let me know your thoughts on Chuck Wee's Tots upgrade uh, for community the uh, 8 one team of the week SBC and Van Ewick so have a good one folks take it easy all uh, thanks for watching and I'll catch you all later